Hey everyone, uh, how you all doing? Um, I'm doing pretty well, just, you know, wrapping up everything in the semester. It's a little crazy right now, but we're all almost at the finish line, which is great. Just wrapping up final assignments and final projects and all that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much what I've been doing lately. And just like preparing for juries and all that stuff too. Um, how was my semester overall? Overall, it went pretty well, I thought. It was definitely one of my more busier semesters. Then again, we were also transitioning back into more things like in person, of course, eventually leading to getting back to normal where everything's in person. So, um, and just given the amount of like classes and stuff I was taking, it definitely was busier than more semesters. But I think I had a good grip on everything overall, and I think I'm going to end each class on a really good note. So that's, that's pretty much where I'm at, which is cool. Okay, reflect upon my time in the class. What were the most interesting things I learned about or skills I developed in the class? Um, I guess one of the biggest skills I take away from this class is definitely learning how, like, when you get when you get research on a specific topic or, like, a specific composer, how to organize that research and, like, how to properly structure it within, like, a research assignment sequence, if that makes sense. You know, before going into this class, the way I would kind of do, like, research papers is I would kind of just, like, format it in my own way, not really knowing, like, what specific things, like, a teacher or professor would be wanting to look for in my assignment. But in doing, like, all these, like, article assignments and research assignments where we're creating, like, hierarchical outlines. I hope I said that word right. Hierarchical outlines of every every topic that we're doing and just how to properly structure it and make it all make sense and look really well. Uh, that's something I definitely developed like a skill in this class and something that I think I do pretty well now and something that I'll definitely take with me and consider as I'm doing other classes in my degree, even in my master's because I want to do master's. Uh, so yeah, um, some of like, I guess like the really interesting things I learned about in this class, just a lot of like composers that I've never really heard of before, especially as we got into now, like more like the modern era, like there are just a bunch of like 20th century composers that like, you know, did like all these like, like recorded music, you know, and like, just like all these different aspect, aspect, abstract works of art that I personally never heard of before and just it was just really interesting to learn about them and just hear what they brought into the musical world so I think that was really interesting and something I really loved too throughout this class we got to hear like so many like listening examples and like like things like interviews documentaries all that on all these composers that we probably wouldn't have have looked up on our own so um, that, that was something cool, just something to broaden our horizon on music and composers as a whole, which I think is cool. Reflect on music history one and two. What are your thoughts about classical Western music history in general? So overall, I think I have, you know, just, uh, what is it? Uh, my thoughts on classical Western music history you know, they're pretty good, if that makes sense. I don't know how exactly to answer it. Um, I have a pretty good, like, aspect and, like, thoughts on these topics as a whole. I mean, thinking back to music history one, you know, just starting way back in the medieval period, going to what we have today, I mean, it was definitely a lot of knowledge to absorb. And I, just something that I find really cool and interesting is just how things have pretty, like, drastically changed over the century. Like, we still keep a lot of the same, like, norms and stuff when we think about music, but just a lot of, like, that aspects and I guess, like, the rules about it just have completely changed. And it's interesting, I think, going all the way back then, seeing how things were, and seeing how things slightly progress forward into this day and age. So I, I think that was really interesting as, you know, we took both courses and we just saw that timeline kind of play out, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, you know, 
Starting this class back in last August, I was really nervous because I have heard just, you know, the stories of music history and how often it can be really stressful, you know, a bunch of research assignments and stuff. But of course, like, I took those kind of like with a grain of salt because, you know, my experience could end up being totally different. And in taking these two courses, yes, there were times where it, it was kind of stressful, you know, like trying to organize everything and make sure everything was great to turn in. But, you know, as we kind of got like through the groove of it, I got better and better, I thought, and more comfortable with each assignment that was thrown at me. And also more like understood more of like what the teacher was expecting from me, what I knew I needed to bring to the table. So, yeah. And um, I thought it was really cool, you know, um, typing the dear future student paragraph because I was in their place a year ago, not knowing what to expect at all in this course. And I hope those students also, you know, from what they've heard, take it with a grain of salt, just get through it one day at a time and know that they're not the only one taking the course. They have friends here to support them and they have, um, they have you or Dr. Macchiarella or whoever's watching this video. They have the professor to help them to um, organize their thoughts and their work in order for them to be really successful in the class. So yeah, overall, I enjoyed my time in this course and in Music History Survey 1, and just, I thought I learned a lot, a lot of stuff I can take into my teaching career once I get my degrees, and yeah, uh, overall, really, really enjoyed this class. Now I just got to wrap up this final research paper, which will be really fun to do. I'm looking forward to that, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, I hope you guys had a great end to your uh, semester and all your classes have gone really well. Good luck on all your finals. I know right now it's a little bit of a stressful time, and as well as your juries. Uh, just go through everything, do the best you can, and we are going to get through this tail end of the semester. We're all in this together. High School Musical Reference. But uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing your guys' final reflection videos, and thanks for taking this course with me. Bye, guys. Have a good summer.